Smart meters are small electronic devices that provide the ability to track and control energy consumption. A new norm in the power and utility industry that provides a more accurate billing of electricity consumed. Smart meters give electricity operators a clear view of the operational processes with only a few clicks. They also give users access to figures that allow them to make efficient choices like the ability to pay only for energy consumed or to know the equivalent currency of electricity consumption. Over the years, Nigeria has battled with the problem of achieving efficient generation and distribution of electricity, but gradually we have welcomed smart metering. Our guest on the show discusses how smart metering solutions can help increase efficiency while cutting down operational costs. I feel I'd be glad to have you on Tech Trends today. Yeah, thanks, Fred. So tell us how important it is to have a stable um, power industry for tech to thrive. Um, thank you very much for, for that question. Um, <clears throat> you know, for most of the technologies that you have, um, you definitely need um, electricity or power to power from the mainframe um, computers to your PCs, and that is critical. Um, you can't run a data center without power. So it is critical that um, if you don't have a data center, that is where all your technology infrastructure stays, and that is what enables technology. So if you don't have power, uh, then um, technology is, is zero. And that is why we've seen that um, we've not been able to push some of these technologies um, through. And the technologies are not stable because there are no power to ensure that these uh, infrastructures are whole. Um, don't forget that these infrastructures that power the technology, which is like the backbone of any technology you would want to think of, has to be powered on 247, 365 days. And that is why you also see that uh, we don't have um, this big, uh, massive infrastructure um, in this part of the world. You see people, um, the big tech companies going to um, countries where there are stable power to ensure that um, there is no interruption um, to, to power. Um, a case in point is what happened um, just um, weeks back in Texas because of um, a slow. And you see that once power was out, um, the whole of Texas was brought down nothing was able to move. And that is just to show the essence of power um, and how it affects technology. I mean, the, the power industry uh, in Nigeria is somewhat complicated. So I, I really want to focus on the part that concerns the average guy. Um, tell us a bit about um, what a smart meter means and, and why it's important. Um, Thank you. Um, smart meter is just a, a device that helps you to be able to measure the electricity consumption, um, also voltage, power factor, and also currency that flows. Um, majorly for an average consumer or the end user, ability to measure what you have consumed is actually the challenge. Thus, the need for a smart meter. Um, without a smart meter, all the initiatives of governments to improve electricity may not work because that is where the challenge is. Ability for the discos um, to be able to measure what um, every consumer has actually consumed. So that's the reason why um, the market for smart meter is growing, not only in Nigeria, uh, but everywhere in the world. Okay, let's bring this to Nigeria. Uh, would you consider smart metering as a solution to our many challenges in this all important industry? Um, as a matter of fact, um, once we get the metering aspects of that industry right, um, then I would say that 90 to 95% of the problem um, will be solved. Um, holding um, generation constant and also distribution. But to the end user, um, I'm assuming here, um, we are able to generate enough 
and um, we are able to also distribute um, for the discos, then um, the energy problem we are facing will have been solved 90, 95%. The data of those, of, of those who have access to a proper metering is, is rather low. Um, what can we do to improve these numbers? Uh, so um, NEC, um, the regulatory body um, for um, that subsector um, did um, an analysis just to see how many people have been metered. We are not talking about smart meters, just having meter um, in their houses. Um, as at last year, um, there is a gap of 10 million um, houses or electricity consumers that are not metered. Um, that is huge. By their um, statistics and uh, calculation, they expect that um, all the 11 discos that we have should meter 1.7 million customers every year for about 10 years for them to be able to capture the metering gap. Uh, the 10 million is just the enumeration that they've done. Um, don't forget that um, there are new developments that are going on between the last time they collected that data and now. Um, so you will expect that the gap is on the increase. Um, also within that statistics, was the areas that uh, were not captured, that were not um, fully developed. Um, the data majorly focused on urban, semi-urban areas. So by the time you are bringing in the core rural areas in, um, then you'll be expecting um, a metering gap in Nigeria between 15 and 20 million. Uh, Afalabi, uh, tell us, what is the market for smart meter like? Uh, the market for smart Flat meter is is massive. Um, for all the discos, they need they need smart meters for them to operate effectively and efficiently. Um, so, in terms of markets, um, know that all the discos would require or they require um, smart metering for their customers. Um, also, for the um, private sector. Um, real estate developers, they also need smart meters. So it is, it is, it is massive. So smart metering is just like having um, your mobile phones. For every home, you have to have a smart meter for you to ensure that you are, you are paying the right price for what you are consuming. Uh, finally, uh, Afolabi, um, this issue about power, is dear to my heart because you know, uh, being in this space, uh, technology space, I understand its importance, and I know that a lot of startups, um, organizations of various types, have always cried at the amount of money they spend on power. And you know, the average Nigerian will wonder when will Nigeria ever get to a point of adequate power supply. What will be your comment on that? Yeah, um, thanks. I think for me, um, we are actually getting there. Um, the major problem with the industry is um, of course not paying the fair price and government is doing everything um, for consumers to pay the fair price. Once fair price are paid, um, it would um, allow people to invest in that sector and that would make a lot of companies goes into generation, which is like um, the problem because you know that you are able to recoup your investment. I think um, the actions um, of the government um, now is in the right direction, is the right step to take um, as long as we are able to pay, um, consumers pay the right price for electricity. I think um, the electricity um, availability will be a thing of the past. All right, I'm Not availability will be a thing of the past, yeah. All right, I'm thank you for being on the show today. Wish yeah, thank you. you. Thank you.